Right now, let's go to Lauren, who's calling from Long Beach. Oops, Lauren, you're on Loveline. Hi there. Hey, Lauren. Well, okay, I'm supposed to say hello to Ricky and Drew and Adam and Peter. Hello. Lauren. Uh, hello. Oh, I just want to say, you know, Peter, you are the sexiest man alive. And, you know, your wife is a very lucky woman. God bless you. Oh, Thank goodness. you for the sentiment. Hear that? Hear that? Hear that? She should start appreciating you. <laughs> she appreciate you? She makes me bacon and over over medium uh, poached eggs every morning, over Man. toast. Mm. And like hagen coffee shakes at night. Oh, that's Aww. love. That's me Man. buy all the video games I want. Oh, man, you get to play video games? Every system. Wow. All the new systems, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, anyway. Thank you, anyway. <laughs> Cooks and Your question for the doctor? Game. See, that's yeah, worth well, waiting. That's worth, well, now I can see why he didn't have sex with her before. <laughs> he knew she would cook for him and let him play video games. That's a couple of months. That, is, that, that ain't a, two and a half years. <laughs> okay. Anyways, my question to the doctor, but it's probably going to end up getting back to Ricky and Adam and all you guys. Oh. Well, it's okay. I mean, you guys are just, you know, perverted like that, so it's going to get back to Hey, we resemble that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Question. Okay. My question is, I've been with my, I'm 18, I've been with my boyfriend for about three or four months now, and we've, uh, we, we're having sex, and he has this strange fetish with wanting me to dominate him. He wants he wants the whole you know domination thing, whips and chains and bondage and all that. But I'm too submissive. I'm it just it doesn't gross me out. But it's just like whenever he brings it up, I just try to you know change the subject. You know, I don't want to disappoint him, but I don't know if I should. I mean, I know I should tell him, but I don't know how without him getting upset about it. Hmm. You no. Know? So you guys are like two, someone on a tandem bike. Both of you in the back pedaling and right. nobody steering the sex. Right. Help her, Peter. I think uh, there might be a lot of basis of what un undoctor Adam said earlier about how it trivializes, trivializes relationships to do that kind of stuff. If you're 18 and it's based on a lot of sex and some weird stuff that you're not really feeling comfortable about, it might not be the right relationship well, I don't for you. I'm uncomfortable with it, you know. I mean, I've never tried it, but as far as I know, it just, I don't know. He wants me to, like, dominate him. And like what kind of stuff? Like he doesn't give me any, he doesn't give me any like um, anything in specific. But he says like, well, it really turns me on if you would, if you would, you know, dominate me. And I, he doesn't say it. But Tom I'm, just to go up and say, hey, wait, what, clean what, the house. <laughs> wait, what what does he say? He he just says like like well, you know, what really turns me on is domination. Hint hint, you know, wink wink, nudge nudge. But. What I what I gather from that, he doesn't because I always you know kind of change the subject. You know? Lauren, don't, don't change the subject. Next time he 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 brings that up, just ask him what exactly are you talking about. Yeah, he ain't saying nothing. And, and then you can well, tell I know him. What he means. Well, no, Lauren, you've got to start communicating very directly. You can't make any more assumptions, and he can't make assumptions about what you're feeling. You've got to then respond back to him with whatever it is you're feeling, which is. Hey, I'm not into that. I, I don't like that. In fact, if anything, I want to be dominated. And then, and you know, let him know how you're feeling. If that if that's what you're feeling, you know, I'm so scared that you're cart it up, God, cart it up. <laughs> Did I, you hear that? No, cart that, that up. That kind of stuff scares me. True wants to be dominated. No, stop. <laughs> Put it on a reel. It's like I have to communicate without speaking because if I'll, I speak and say something, it's going to be pulled out of context. I want and, that on my gotta, phone machine. <laughs> all right, look. Listen, wait, wait. I, let me say something because I don't. Stick for me. <laughs> Look, the fact is that you've got to begin, Lauren, you've got to begin communicating with your boyfriend and talking to him honestly and directly, and otherwise you're not going to be able to sort these things out. That's all there is to it. I'm curious, because I'm writing a book here, Lauren. First, a suggestion. Wait till he falls asleep and kick him in the nuts. That's domination. That's domination. All right, number two. What? Hey, I thought that's what you meant. Is he the kind of guy, let me, the guys who want to be dominated, are these guys who are like, who take control in their normal life Many and times. then want to have control right. taken right. from them because you always hear like these high powered businessmen types go to these Many times. go to these women and, and, and like to say yes mommy no mommy and get beaten with a cat of nine tails is he one of these guys I mean is he a strong willed guy outside of the bedroom well yeah sort of I mean he's a typical guy but I, I basically think you know because of the damn pornos he watches exactly <laughs> I say don't give him nothing, Lauren. Dump this. And be honest with him. Dunk this. And he might not be the right guy for you. You're right. Don't give yourself up to no one until you're married. Have more respect for yourself. 